Hello all. In this tutorial, we will see how to set a password in the iView program. First click on the general setup. Here we have an idle processing. We have change user level. So click on the change user level and set the idle user level to zero for example. So which means it is a, in a logout condition where, where there is no user level configured. In the idle time, set a time which is required as per the application. For example, I have set it as 10 minutes and press OK. Here in the setup, you have passwords and you can set up to nine user levels. So I have set one to nine and I have different passwords set up here. For example, we will use user level four, five and six, which I have one, two, three, four, one, two, three, five and one, two, three, six press OK. Now we have three objects here. One is for having a set point, the other one is for a switch, the other one is for a navigation from one screen to the other. So we will see how to set password for all the three. Double click on the set point, click on advanced. Here you have touch operation control. Check on, click the checkbox for the enable by user level you have lowest enable using level and I have set it as 4. Press OK. Again in the case of switch, double click, go to advanced. Here you have enabled by user level and select a user level which you would prefer to use it in the application. So here in this case I have used as 5. Press OK. In the navigation, double click on the navigation. Here we have advanced and again check the box for the enable by user level so you'll be able to see the lowest enabling user level which I have configured is number six press OK and configure a function button object which you can get from object function button and select the category as password or security and operation as logout press OK so this will act, this button will act as a logout button for from all the user levels which you have entered and download the program and we will see how it is configured in the program so this is a VNC viewer software which I have used to connect to the iView HMI and it is just mimicking exactly how it, perf how it will be performing in the actual controller so now it is connected to the controller you can see one two and three three objects which are all disabled for any changes so it won't allow you to change anything other than unless you enter the correct password so for example in the set point I am entering a random number just to check whether the password protection is working or not so I s simply entered 147 and I click on enter so you can see the password is not being taken as a valid password I enter the correct password one two three four and enter so you can see that disable but sign is being taken away and now it is up for any changes so I have entered one two three four and then you can see the set point have taken the correct value so you can see four five six so it is taken the correct value and this set point object is being configured for user level four but the switch and the navigation do have a higher value of the user levels so here you can see the switch you can see is off so I am going to enter the correct password one two three five enter and you can see the disable sign has been taken off you can change the status of the switch to on or off here in the case of navigation it do have a user level six so I'm entering one two three six enter and it moves to the screen number two for navigation and I clicked on the screen button again it goes back to the original screen screen number one you can click on the logout button to log out from all the user levels which you have entered and the password will be cleared for to the idle password thank you for watching this video